What's cracking, my little Joltix? This is Crackix, and I got an awesome battle here for you guys. Um, this is against some dude. I'm yeah, I know. Before I say anything, I know I said it. Joltix, my little Joltix, and a what? If you didn't find that cute, then face palm your face or go masturbate in the corner or something. All right, just <laughs> what am I even saying? I don't even know. Fuck, I'm tired. Anyways, we're here. I go into my one th one comment before I start narrating. Um, I told this guy, hey, uh, what tier you want to go for? And he was like, bring a bring anything you want. So immediately, I thought, all right, I thought this guy's gonna probably play with Ubers. I mean, really, like bring anything you want. Obviously, that kind of sounds like he's gonna play hard with Ubers. But that's why I brought a normal OU team, and uh, he brought. Not even an OU team, that's like a UU team or some shit like that, dude. And I was thinking, wait, what, dude? Really? Okay, you know what, it's cool. I mean, I got an OU team. You kind of got like an UU team or something like that. I'm just gonna play with it, I guess. But this guy has illegal shit. And you'll see, you'll see in the, like, at the very end. Alright, so right here, I set up my, I go into my polytel just to scare this guy off. And... I was gonna go for that hydro pump scaring him off and guess what he predicted that and went for that nice chancy who does carry that Eviolite but it doesn't really matter because I just go for that toxic do, do chancy's carry natural cure? I don't even know because um, if they do then this toxic was in vain because um, it's not gonna do shit to this chancy after it switches out anyways I'm going to my Uxi as I think he last turn he set up a wish yeah he set up he set up he sets up a wish then right here in my switching he goes for that toxic and misses which is great for me because um, my I'm cute is not gonna be toxic then right he's gonna switch out go into his uh, chandelier um I don't really know what he was predicting there but I just went for that u-turn I don't care if whatever comes in I just wanna have a nice switch and then right here I Predicted a switch and I went for the superpower, but no, he stayed. I was actually predicting the switch to his um, Chansey, but no, he stayed. I went for that overheat, um, obviously destroying my beer tick as we know it. Anyways, right here, I'm going to my polytoad and I'm gonna scare this guy off. And I um, predicted that I went for that nice focus blast because uh, I knew Chansey was coming, but that, that's not gonna do nothing, dude, especially with the Violite this thing has. Come on, let's be real, okay? This thing has a Violite. It's a Chansey. It's a little dick. Has penises all over his head. Come on, it's gonna survive a Focus Blast to the dome. Alright, obviously. Anyways, we're gonna switch out. Go into my Uxie, go for that nice knockoff, because I don't want this thing to carry that Violite. Alright, you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm sure you do know what I'm saying because um, chances with the Violet are little douchebags, man. Seriously. God. <clears throat> Damn, I don't even, I'm not even paying attention to the narration because I'm watching something in the TV. Anyways, back to the narration. I'm sorry, that's very unprofessional. So I'm going to go into my store. Let's go for that Dwarf Chop. And uh, it doesn't KO. And I'm thinking, what the hell, dude? And goes for the seismic tox, it doesn't really matter because I'm, I'm gonna go for that next watch out, but I, of course, I miss, alright? Me and JJ have this thing of missing um, important moves that we're supposed to hit, but we don't hit them because we have bad luck. And, uh, anyways, right here he's gonna go into his uh, frost last. I'm gonna switch out, fearing that this thing might be faster than me, so I'm going to my fishy, also known as, um, Vaporeon as he set up, as he sets up a sub predicting my switch. I assume if he didn't predict it, then uh, good, <laughs> this guy um, had luck, I guess. But it doesn't really matter because I do carry that roar. And after he fakes tears, he fake tears me. I'm just gonna go for that roar as this thing comes in. He's gonna obviously fear the surf. And you know what? I'm gonna predict the switch and go for that wish. And uh, right here he goes into his kaboot tops, and I'm gonna switch out. Because, um, I don't really know, I just wanted to switch on. Then right here he sets up a sword stance, dude. And you know what that means? He might probably sweep me. So I'm going to go to my Uxie. I'm glad my Uxie is here, so I'm just going to go for that T-Wave. Hopefully, I can take one Night Slash. And guess what? I do, man. Damn, 80 HP. Uxie, you're a freaking monster. And I know it. 
<laughs> Alright, and I, you just paralyzed that darn Kabuto, so it's gonna be useless at this point. Anyways, I'm just going for that knockoff, knocking off his, uh, was it leftovers? I don't even know, but he does, yeah, leftovers. Anyways, um, once I hit this thing, it has breakable armor, which means that I think it loses defense and raises its speed. I don't know if that's a Dream World ability that's been released. I don't know. I think, yeah, it's been released already. I think. I don't even know. Anyways, I'm going for that U-turn, I think. And I'm switching to my Polytoad knowing that this thing can't really touch my Polytoad and it gets Parahax, which is good because that means I got a free switch into my Polytoad, so that's good. So I'm going to go for that Hydro Pump, obviously, um, um, outspeeding even after those two, that plus two speed boost he got right there. So <laughs> damn crazy. He's going to go for the Energy Ball and uh, I, I was all like, survive it, man. And he survived it. And I just went for that awesome, dope ass stab in the rain hydro pump. And I killed that chandelier. So now we're face to face. We're, I think we have 4 4. And I'm recovering from my Scrafty death and my uh, Beer Tick death. And it goes into his, this thing. It's going to obviously kill me uh, with a Shadow Ball, especially at that range of HP I had. Anyways, I'm going to my Fishy knowing that Fishy can wow this mother effer right in the face and he's gonna go for that shadow ball you know what anything can do shit so i'm just gonna go for that wish just to be safe you know because um i really don't want to risk anything look at that frost last damn that thing looks so cool it's shiny right anyways go for that fake tears lowering my special defense and you know what that's okay because i'm going for that roar as he goes into his executor executor <laughs> i'm gonna go for that roar as he goes into his executor damn it's crazy anyways i'm going for that um, Uxie, because I just wanted to see what this guy wanted to do. You know, Uxie has death fought and sets up a source and is predicting my switch, I think. Yeah, I'm sure he predicted my switch. Anyways, good playing this part. I'm going to my Haxorus. Knowing I cannot speed this thing, I'm going to go for that double chop. And he sets up he sets up an endure. And I'm thinking, how did this double chop not kill this thing? Damn. And then this is where the magic happens. He's going to go for that seed bomb, outspeeding me with his berry, I think. Yeah. And he gets his harvest, meaning he gets his berry again. I'm going to my Vaporeon. And he's going to use that berry again. And it's going to obviously me KO me. So I think that's my last poke. Yeah, that's my last poke. And I'm like, what? I don't think that berry um, was valid. He used some weird ass pokes. Seriously. I don't know, dude. Uh, after the battle, I was like, wait, what? How it just happened holy mother of Jesus Wow anyways guys tell me your opinions about this battle I really want to know your opinions you guys th are the best especially Toronto Maple Leafs and the uh, pokey aim and the uh, JJ poke saw especially and uh, all you other fools that like commenting <laughs> Um, sorry if I considered you as a fool, it's just that that's how I talk because I'm from Los Angeles and uh, yeah Stupid people like really like because um, you know how I don't live from I don't live in Los Angeles anymore I live in a new place um, This chick Thought that I smoked like another chick from my school. She was like, oh uh, She started acting cool again like that other chick. I told you guys about that supposedly she smoked she's like oh hey guess what i smoke too and i'm like oh okay and then i tried to ignore her and i'm like do you smoke and i'm like no dude what and then i just ignored her because you know what i don't i don't really like talking to chicks who try to act cool in front of me and then they say that um they smoke like that's a turn off like seriously no no please please i do not like chicks like that Anyways, guys, um, enough of me um, rambling, saying nonsense, talking about my personal life. Um, this has been Crackix, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.